Hi, Hi art friends. friends. Hello. Today's quite a special video mm -hmm. because the lovely scroller box have sent us one of these for free. So excited to find out what's actually inside. <laughs> we can finally open the thing. I'll do it like this for you guys. Okay, so what have we got? What have we got? Ooh, they're keeping us in suspense yeah. a bit longer. Oh, is that something to colour in? Here's a few fireball samples to test out your new colour markers. Aww. This is a postcard. Oh, I love all the little characters in it. I know, it. isn't it really neat though? <laughs> That's really cool. And I'm so impressed that we've actually got light in the bedroom. We haven't had light in here for like We've been living months. in the dark ages for... Uh... Oh, I'm not showing you that because that's a spoiler as to what one of Do you know what are. the things are now? Well, that's telling you how to use one of them. Okay. So, are you ready? Okay. <laughs> it's really nicely packaged. Oh. Oh, we got a... Is that a... No, that's another card. Oh, and a sticker as well. Oh. We got... Oh, we got sweets. <laughs> A fireball sweet. Oh, I'll let you have that. I'm not very good and with them. And here we go. Oh, chameleon markers. Look how big those are. I think someone on Facebook kept linking me to these. They change colour tones or something. And that's chameleon as well. I think you need to read the important information on how to use these. Okay, how do we use these? Whole pen vertically when fusing. What are we fusing? Have we figured it out? <laughs> I think so, yeah, look. It says, number one, remove the pen from the mixing chamber, which is this. Right. Choose the brush near the grey insert, which I think is this, and mm -hmm. remove it. So we're like this. Oh, yeah. Hold the pen in a vertical position. Gently place the mixing chamber onto the nib. The two nibs will touch. Like this. Yep, they are touching. Okay. Yeah. How long do we have to hold it in here for? Does it say? Oh, it says fuse 15 seconds. You can tell the tip of it starts to change colour yes. as it's doing it. It goes yeah. like a lighter yellow. This says work from light to dark. That's definitely light. Oh wait, it is. It's coming out darker now. One thing we forgot to mention is we also got a detail pen, which doesn't mix with the others. It's double-ended. It has a 0.4mm tip and a 0.6mm tip. It's a double tipped as well. There's like oh. a normal little fine point. But there is also, I think that's a brush tip. I would say yes. So that's why they're so long, because essentially you've got two different end pens and then like a sec separate A little second little one. Well, the blender thing on top. It makes me think of, you know, like 90s pens when they used <laughs> to be all about like blow pens and like gel pens. <laughs> I love quirky pens. <laughs> the ones where you'd blow and they'd splat everywhere. Yeah, it's right up my street. <laughs> I'm getting carried away with colouring <laughs> in these little guys now. <laughs> I can't believe how quickly you've managed to jump in with something and here's me still, still thinking. <laughs> Ooh, you've started then. I know, I'm trying to come up with something. I'm thinking of doing just like a lady with like some kind of volcanic hair or something along oh, those lines. Oh, volcano's pretty cool. How's yours coming along? Yeah, I haven't really done too much just yet. I've run out of space for her legs at the bottom and I've noticed that Adam on his <laughs> had the same issue but he's covered her up with fire and since she's a volcano lady maybe I can find a way to cheat my way out of this. You could cover up with volcanoes. Little volcanic rocks or something. <laughs> Not quite sure what she'd wear though, I mean. Yeah, I was just what would a fiery... about what the fiery ladies wear. <laughs> what would a fire lady wear, eh? People have commented how every time we doodle date you have to eat something. <laughs> that is a false accusation. <laughs> oh, speaking of eating things, I reckon we should make Adam eat this. <laughs> but you're, a, you're atomic fireball. Mm. Are you going to do it? Oh well, it, it won't defeat me. Come on. You're too powerful. Go on, get in your mouth. <laughs> it doesn't actually say what fire, what fire, what flavour it is. It doesn't say what fire is. Oh, now I get why they sent it. The theme fire, so they've sent us a fireball. <laughs> of course. Did you get that? <laughs> it smells like it's going to hurt me. <laughs> Thankfully, they only sent one of them, so I can't join in with this game. <laughs> it's not hot. It is. It's not. <laughs> What's it taste like? I don't know. You don't know? Usually things like that, um, like aniseed or mm. something. It's getting hot. <laughs> is it getting hot? <laughs> Oh, I can smell it from here. That smells strong. It's the inside of my mouth melting. Do you feel like you need a rest? <laughs> it's making me sweat. <laughs> it's nice, though. It's nice. 
I like it. No, it's not. Time to... I've got to take it out. It's gross. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you said it was nice like two seconds ago. All right. No. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, aren't you saving it for later? No. We both shoved a lot of jelly sticks yeah. in our mouth before you hit record. Needed to extinguish those flames. I was like, oh. Ooh, I like this. Is it good? It's a thicker tip to, than the fine liners I usually use, but I really like it. That's actually taking really nice, isn't it? Yeah, I prefer it to the fine liners that I have. I'll probably end up substituting this for the... The one that I've lost anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what a loss. <laughs> need to quickly put some clothes on her, I think. Yeah, so. I wasn't too certain on the clothes. So are you going to use the fine liner for this oh, as well? Oh, yeah. I want to use that too. Okay, so I want to try out this other end because this is the thicker 0. 0.6 milliliter tip. Point... Ooh. Milliliter. <laughs> no, that'd be enormous. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how this goes. Oh, I like that. Oh yes, and you. Oh, actually... you got some variation. Yeah, you there. can go lighter and darker. I love things that have like variation. Wow. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this. Wow. What I was actually gonna do was do like lines like this all in the final one, and then go on top with the thicker one. Yeah. To sort of create different variation, but to be honest, you, you reckon can... you can do it with just that one? Yeah, with just the thicker one, it's quite wow. nice. Wow. Let's try with the thinner one on these then. So up lightly and then push down. Yeah, you can get some really, really good lines with yeah, it. Yeah, it's doing it. Oh, so is her hair like all the lava then? Yeah, it's meant to be like a lava eruption, and I'm hoping nice. the bottom of her dress will look a bit more like a volcano. Or That's pretty cool, you know. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Just because you're doing more of like a fiery woman, I thought yeah. it would be a different variation on fire. Uh, do you want to have a play with the pen? Because I'm kind of hogging it at the moment. Okay, let's give that a try. You know, when I first saw it, I thought I might be put off by how big the barrel is. But I think I actually like it because it gives me a better grip. Yeah, as to what you're actually holding. Yeah, with yeah. fine liners, they're normally so skinny. Stop moving the bed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're like, I really like this bed. It's just because I'm excited. Which end do you prefer? Probably the thinner one because I'm terrified of this, <laughs> this <laughs> massive end pen. I prefer it because, like, if you do lift off, you get the same line way off the thinner one. Yeah, you I can guess also so. get the Your one's turned out great. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm just sort of like, what am I it's doing? It's just because you're pushing down really hard when you're using it. Try and like lift off as you do it. Yeah, you've just created like a little line break. That's a sign that you. Something I'm not used to being, <laughs> being light handed when I'm drawing. Draw like a feather. <laughs> Draw like a feather. Okay, <laughs> I will try my best. Yeah, I really haven't considered how I'm going to colour this, but I'm excited. <laughs> I love using new art products. I'm the type of person that buys quite a lot of different supplies whenever I've got a little bit of spare change or whatever. Cash, yeah. But the thing is, when you buy something yourself, You've already sort of sold yourself on it because you already know it's going to be good. You've probably already seen someone use something. So that's why I'm such a fan of this because it's just literally a product that I might have never heard of. Well, we'd never heard of these before. Yeah, exactly. I would never have gone out of my way to buy this, but I am so glad I have this in my life now. I'm not sure if Adam's is sold on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice. I do, I do like it. You can see the reflection of the doodle in your glasses. My glasses are so reflective. I get so annoyed whenever I take pictures of myself or whatever, and all I can see is the screen of like my phone. <laughs> now it's time for us to start playing with these actual chameleons. <laughs> now it's time to learn how to say chameleon. I'll let you go yeah, first. Me, I, I forgot how long yeah. they are. Like, I'll teach you to say chameleon. <laughs> it does have the names of the colours all on the ends. Red. It's alright. I can just about manage red. <laughs> <laughs> And there's also Summer Sun and Bisque. <laughs> biscuit, wow. No, Bisque. Oh, I guess it's kind of biscuit coloured. I've done that. Oh, it's starting to darken. I've done that way too close to our eyebrows, too. But never mind. Okay, I'm going to put some yellowy bits at the Ooh. tips of the hair. Here we go. I do like the way that the yellow sits on top of the red. It creates quite a nice vibrant orangey colour. Yeah. Because we actually have an orange. Do but we? um yeah, this one 
the, the biscuit, the biscuit color. <laughs> little, little fiery bits coming out of her head. Sparks. <laughs> I'm trying to put some more yellow into my red, just to make it look a bit more lavery. I can see it. Which is nice, because it's starting to lighten this red up yeah. into an orange in these colours. It's like a pink fireball at the minute. Oh, you're so <clears> much <throat> better at the blending <clears throat> than I am. <laughs> no. Okay, well, I guess I'll give this a try. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I think that's a nice colour for it. Here's Adam working on his masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it a masterpiece. I'm not sure if she looks volcano coloured enough at the bottom. She kind of looks like a pizza woman. <laughs> 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 like she's covered in chicken nuggets and fries and stuff and she has ketchup hair. <laughs> this would have been a better picture to draw in McDonald's yeah. in that moment. It's like I'm going to erupt with flavour. <laughs> but to be fair, I was limited to red, orange and yellow. And bisque. I'm not sure whether I should try do something with a base to make a. <laughs> Stop saying base because people are going to think she's a pizza. Okay, do you want to show them the finished pieces? Do, 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 do. Here they are. It's a fire spirit and volcano pizza lady. Scroll a box. We'll leave like a, a link in the description if you like to. Uh... Really 